Hey there friends, a little bit of good news to share with you all today, but first I want to let you know if you're wanting to get this shirt, this shirt says the far right and at the bottom of it it says founding member and it's got George Washington on it. If you're looking for this shirt, you can get it at Ballistic Inc. Again, go to BallisticInc.com and you will see this shirt along with many of my other shirts. Uh, obviously, any sales of this shirt, I get a portion of that and they do help the channel out. Assistant U.S. Attorney Laura Colfer Taylor applied to the judge presiding over United States of America versus Irvin and Hoover in the U.S. District Court for the Middle District of Florida to have John Crump and Richard Hughes, which is Flying Rich is his handle on, on uh, YouTube, to have them censored and any fruits of their labors destroyed and be subject to any penalties the court would see fit. Now you guys will remember this CRS case is the one with the little piece of uh, metal that they call an auto key card where there was a drawing of it. This was promoted simply on YouTube and Hoover and Irvin were promptly slapped in jail by the federal government saying that they were essentially selling machine guns. I know it's stupid. Only the federal government could come up with that, right? John Crump and Richard Hughes filed an emergency challenge to Taylor's request and a group of 17 of us in the YouTube space joined Richard Hughes and John Crump by supporting them via an amicus brief. Now, during this entire process and these filings, the government saw better and withdrew their filing against Crump and Richard Hughes. So essentially, the prosecutor in this case ran her mouth and got a little bit too big for her own britches and thought that because she was a federal prosecutor that no one would oppose her, back down, or anything of that nature. She was quite wrong. In fact, she actually cited some incorrect precedent that she was trying to use and mislead uh, possibly the judge in this case, but certainly the entire case itself by citing cases that were inaccurate and didn't apply in this case. In other words, they were trying to say that uh, the defendant in this case, Matt Hoover, could not speak on some of the details, which he in turn shared with John and Rich, and they put a video out about it, well, she was wrong. Officers of the court can't share that information. So either she was flat out lying about it to try to mislead other people, or else she was just ignorant of the topic and not a very good attorney and was mistaken and trying to uh, name the precedent that she was naming in this case for defending her position. Again, she was wrong. Uh, she was more than likely told that she was wrong. I don't think she would have made up this mind and they would have uh, done this withdrawal without somebody higher than her. So she probably got her hand slapped um, about this pretty heavily and was probably had her butt ripped. So it's nice to see a federal agent, if you will, agent of the government, be treated this way because we are the people and I like to see when things turn out the way they should sometimes. And the uh, attempt at silencing John and Rich was just absolutely crazy. There are a lot of people out there that work in this space that we work in, and a lot of very big people out there. If you look at the collective numbers of not just the people that signed this amicus brief, which again, I proudly am one of them, but if you take the number of YouTube people in general that, again, work inside this Second Amendment space, take those numbers and you compare those to the main media players out there like CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, all those, I will be willing to bet that our numbers reach more people on a daily basis than these mainstream media liars out there. So whenever these prosecutors, federal prosecutors and judges, do things to try to push against those of us that work in this space, like Crump and like Hughes, I think they're going to find that they're not dealing with guys that they think of when they think of video or YouTube journalists, thinking that, oh, these are people, again, I like to use the phrase, the Cheetos up to their elbows drinking a glass of Kool-Aid in their mom's basement. That's not who they're dealing with. This chick, in this case, found out that ain't who she was dealing with. God save the queen, man. I'm sorry, I thought this was America.